Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and keep watching more details. The Curse of Oak Island, Season 10 opens as team vows to follow science and a tunnel in the money pit. The Curse of Oak Island returned last night for the premiere of Season 10, and it's clear that this year the team is determined to use science and technology to uncover the treasure. The Legina brothers have been digging up Oak Island for 10 years now, but never before have they had such an array of scientific tools at their disposal. For Marty Legina, it's now all about the science. The last few seasons have seen the guys put more and more faith in archaeologists and archaeology, and they now have an XRFA, X-ray fluorescence, machine, and an XRD, X-ray diffraction, machine, both of which help to analyze the composition of artifacts. The show started with a quick rundown of the key areas that will require investigation this year. One of the first things mentioned was the use of MUOM technology, a groundbreaking system for mapping the island under the surface. But unfortunately, this will take a few months. Other things on the to-do list included uncovering more artifacts from Lot 8, more studies in the swamp area and also further trips abroad, such as to Portugal and England, to establish links between Europe, the Templar Knights, and Oak Island. However, Marty was very clear when he stressed that their main focus should be uncovering whatever is giving the high readings of gold and silver in the water under the money pit. The Curse of Oak Island team hopes to find the gold in the water. Since last year, geologist Dr. Ian Spooner has been taking samples from underground water, and he keeps finding traces of gold and silver, too much for it to be from natural deposits. This year he's been tasked with taking more samples so he can pinpoint exactly where the guys should dig for the treasure. And Marty wants him to do this really quickly. Ian is already super interested in the area surrounding the garden shaft. This was a searcher shaft discovered by the guys in 2017 but subsequently abandoned. Ian has now said that gold in the water suggests a deposit of treasure may be down there. In last night's episode, the drill team, headed by Charles Barkhouse and Terry Matheson, unearthed a five-foot-wide tunnel at 103 feet in the money pit area. Again, using new science, the team stuck a camera down the drill shaft and was actually able to view the broken timbers of a tunnel. This was the first time ever that the team was able to view a structure underground. The guys were then able to map the tunnel using sonar imaging. The Oak Island team tracked the direction of new tunnel, and there was even more excitement when surveyor Steve Guptill indicated that the tunnel might be heading toward the garden shaft. There's more. The guys were able to extract some of the wood timber. The wood looked really old and had possibly been worked using a medieval ads tool. Unfortunately, the carbon-14 dating was somewhat inclusive, giving an age range of over 200 years, but the earliest date possible was the 1640s, which could put it in the time period of depositors. There's a long way to go in this season, with over 20 episodes waiting for us, but it's already looking very exciting and promises to be an action-packed year. And as Marty said at the start of the show, I want to get to the bottom of it this year. This year I mean it, Oak, we gotta get it done guys. The Curse of Oak Island, Season 10 opens under a thick shroud of anticipation. The island, still misty and enigmatic, beckons as the team stands resolute before the money pit the heart of the island's most treacherous secrets. Over a decade of searching has led them to this moment, a commitment to follow science, to leave no stone unturned, and to trust in the cold, hard evidence revealed by modern technology. But the mysteries that lie beneath Oak Island's surface remain far from simple. The camera pans over the weathered faces of the Legina brothers, Rick and Marty, who have made this relentless quest their life's work. A slow, steady voiceover intones, for over 200 years. Oak Island has held its secrets, hidden deep beneath the earth, in tunnels, in caverns, and perhaps in the money pit itself. But this season the team vows to follow science, every lead, every piece of data, toward the ultimate prize. Rick, ever the optimist, gazes out at the horizon, the early morning sun casting a golden hue over the island. We're on the brink of something big, he says. This time we're going deeper. Science will guide us through. Marty, ever pragmatic and cautious, nods but holds back a smile. It's all about the data now, he adds. No more guessing, no more wild theories. We have a clear path, 
a tunnel in the money pit, and we're going to follow it to the end. The money pit, long considered the island's epicenter of mystery, has claimed fortunes, lives, and more than its fair share of dreams, but science, as the Laginas now pledge, may finally be the key to unlock its secrets. Over the past few seasons, the team has used advanced scanning technologies, seismic testing, and precision drilling to create a digital map of the underground landscape. And now they've uncovered something new. A tunnel, located deep beneath the surface, potentially leading to whatever lies hidden in the depths. As the team prepares for another season of excavation, the renewed focus on science drives every decision. Craig Tester, the team's resident engineer, explains, the data we've gathered is unprecedented. It's telling us that there's something down there. We just need to be methodical and careful, not get carried away. But Oak Island is not without its complications. For every advancement in technology, the island itself seems to push back. Unpredictable weather, unstable ground, and centuries of flooding have created a labyrinth of dangers that could spell disaster for even the most advanced team of treasure hunters. The first episode shows the team drilling into the money pit's newly discovered tunnel, hoping to confirm their theories. The sound of machinery fills the air as a massive drill descends into the earth, sending up clouds of dust and stone. Tension builds as the camera zooms in on Rick, his face a mixture of hope and caution. Every turn of the drill could mean a breakthrough or another dead end. Hours pass and finally, the drill hits something unusual, an open cavity. The team gathers around, eyes wide with anticipation. Is this it? Have they finally found the fabled treasure vault? We've got something, says Charles Barkhouse, the team's historian. But the question is, what? The camera shifts to Marty, who carefully inspects the drill's core sample. His face betrays no emotion, but his voice is steady. We're close. We just need to keep following the data. This season isn't just about discovery, though. It's about solving the riddle of Oak Island once and for all. The team is armed with more information than ever before. Decades of historical research, cutting-edge technology, and the relentless determination that has brought them to this point but they also know that the island's traps are cunning, designed to mislead and thwart even the most careful of treasure hunters. One of the episode's key moments comes when the team uncovers evidence of another, previously unknown tunnel system intersecting with the money pit. This new tunnel, revealed through laser scanning and remote sensing, raises even more questions. Was it built by the original depositors to hide the treasure, or was it constructed by later searchers, desperate to find what had eluded them? Every time we think we're close, the island throws something new at us, Rick says. But we're not giving up. Not now, we're following the science, and it's leading us somewhere incredible. The episode also revisits some of the island's long-standing mysteries. The stone triangle, the cipher-inscribed stones, the infamous coconut fiber found miles from its natural habitat— all of these strange clues are reevaluated in light of the new discoveries, with fresh eyes and modern science. What was once seen as superstition or coincidence now becomes part of a larger puzzle that might finally be solved. As the first episode draws to a close, the team stands at the edge of the tunnel they've uncovered. The air is thick with anticipation. Marty, ever the realist, reminds them that they could be facing another disappointment. But Rick, the dreamer, remains undeterred. There's something down there, Rick says softly. I can feel it. The screen fades to black as the final shot lingers on the island, bathed in the last light of the setting sun. Oak Island, mysterious and silent, watches as the team prepares for its next move, unaware of what might be uncovered in the depths of its ancient tunnels. But one thing is clear. This season, the search for the truth will be guided by science, and the team will stop at nothing to uncover what lies beneath. With science as their compass and an unyielding belief in the island's secrets, the Laginas and their team venture ever deeper into the unknown, hoping to finally solve the curse of Oak Island.